Like fungi, bacteria, and viruses, nematodes are also one of the important group of plant pathogens. When you hear about nematodes, they are mostly soil-borne microscopic organisms that live in the soil or inside the infected plant roots. But surprisingly, there are some nematodes, they are foliar and that can infect the plant leaves as well. So today we're going to talk about one of the important foliar nematodes, ephalanchoids, that is a big problem in Florida's strawberry production system. Nematodes are microscope worms and then uh, they can infect strawberries and here we have uh, a strawberry infected by a foliar and we have those crinkling symptoms, uh, curved leaves, uh, the, the runners are very damaged by the foliar and the plant look way really stunted compared to the health one which is basically have normal leaves and health. So here we do the extraction method. It's, it's very simple. Um, you can do back home. You just need a microscope. We basically we sep separate uh, the, the runners out of the leaves and the stem to see where this foliar nematode is. If they are where we can find the most of the foliar. So we weigh them and then to see how many nematode we are gonna find per grams of tissue. And then we put here and we cut in small pieces. This way we, we give the conditioner for the nematode to release out of the, the, the plant tissue uh, when we add water and live here for 24 hours. So, and then we, after 24 hours, we use a um, sieve the, the top one, the top one would um, get the top one would get the, the plant tissue and the nematode with the water suspension would go through it and the bottom one would collect the nematode so then we just collect this suspension and take to the microscope. It's pretty short and sweet. So we are back to the nematology lab and we are trying to identify and count nematodes from the plant parts that we got from the strawberry plants and we're gonna identify them and we're gonna get the numbers how many uh, are there uh, what we're we seeing on the computer screen Clayman can you talk to us about it yes sure uh, here we have some nematodes that they are moving around um, and also some plant debris that came out from the, um, the sample we are um, mostly looking at the some characteristics that belong to the genus of Elenchoids. and this characteristic is um, the stylet which is uh, the nematode used for um, uptake some plant nutrition and um, fun fungi nutrition also the median bulb which is in the in this genus is very large and we can easily recognize using the microscope and the tail so the tail has two structure we called uh, a sprite or a mucker and we use those characteristics to identify the genus. I see some of the plates, uh, PDA plates next to you, uh, I think you're growing fungus on them and actually this looks like a monilinear to me, this uh, PDA plates. Uh, why do you use them for? Oh, so I'm using them to maintain my culture and then uh, because this nematode has the ability either to feed on plant or in fungus. Okay, so how you inoculate uh, your foliate nematode on that uh, fungal? So after we identify as being um, the aphalinkoids, um, we use a pipette and then we soak the, the nematode and we place in, in, in multiple drops inside of the monolinear plate so then the nematode will feed on the mycelium so you already have the plates that's already been inoculated and that's not? yes I, I do have it so I have here um, one plate that has been inoculated 30 days ago and one that has not so we can uh, see that um, the plate that has been inoculated is black and then um, the because the nematode has eaten uh, the mycelium and now so uh, the ne this nematode can go up to the lid and multiply and then out of one plate we can get thousands and thousands of 
nematodes. We wash this lid using tap water and we collect this nematode um, to, to use in our research. Uh, oh, you can keep your nematodes on that PD media. I don't think uh, so you can it's, keep that a lot it's around, of weight. Uh, it's about 30 days. So every every month I would renew them. So I will wash and then I will um, identify just to make sure if there is uh, the affelin coils. And I would uh, place again inside the morning in a place. So that keeps your sample fresh and violent. Exactly.